You know, Revelations was one of the most important matches of my career. It was a night that I will never forget because I went into the ring with a man that I respect. I went into the ring with a man that I see as an equal. I went into the ring with a man who was just as determined as me to prove that he is the absolute best in virtual wrestling. Me and Malik Brown killed each other, damn near killed each other in the middle of that ring for every single person watching in that stadium and every single person watching around the world. And at the end of the night, the same thing happened that I told you was going to happen. I am still your DCA World Heavyweight Champion. But I'm not going to take anything away from Malik. No. This isn't to gloat. This isn't to brag. This is giving credit where it's due. Malik Brown brings out the best in me. And I bring out the best in him. And one day, sooner or later, we will fight again for the world title. I believe that in my soul. We will fight again for the world title one of these days. But as for this day... I am still the world heavyweight champion. But now a lot of people come up to me and they ask, what's next for Zack Stone? Other than Billy Edmonds, because that's going to happen in a couple weeks. And I hope, Billy Edmonds, I hope you're ready for that. I hope you're ready for the challenge. I hope you're ready for the biggest match of your career because I've been waiting a long time to finally give you what you deserve. To give you that one one world title opportunity, that one shot at the title that you've never had. You're you're my best friend, buddy. We've known each other from the very start of this company. We've known each other for such a long time. And it will be my honor and privilege to defend the world title against you. But I'm not talking about that right now. I will say that for another time. What I am talking about right now... Is something that was on my mind earlier today. I was at the gym today and I was working out this morning and getting my reps in, you know, the usual stuff. And then a thought hit me in my head. I was thinking about all the great opponents I've faced. I've faced them all. I've faced giants. I've faced destroyers, I've faced technical experts, I've faced determination machines at their worst mental state, I've beaten some of the best that this business has to offer, but as far back as I can remember, as far back as I can think of all the things I've done in my career, there's one name that I've never faced, one person I've never had the opportunity to get into the ring with and really share a moment with. And it's funny that I say great because this person used to be great. And then he sold out to a couple of punks, a couple of washed up has-beens. And it, it baffles me as to why. Why would this man turn his back on the people that respected him and gave him so much for this business and respected everything that he had accomplished? Why would he do something like that? Perhaps I probably will never know, and it's maybe not my place to ask or try to even think about it, but to me, I think it's time for a little bit of reality check. And if I had to be the man to do it, then so be it. If you don't know who I'm talking about, his name is GD. GD, you used to call yourself the personification of greatness. You used to say that greatness always wins. Well, tell me something, GD. How can greatness win when you let yourself lose? You let a couple of setbacks, you let a couple of road bumps bring you to the point where you had to sell yourself out. 
You see me, I never sold out. I don't have to sell myself out because every time that a road bump came in my way, every time that a speed bump was in the road, I just run right over it and I said, I'm going to pick myself up, I'm going to dust myself off and I'm going to get right back in the fight and now... I'm the DCA World Heavyweight Champion. Now, I'm one of the main events of Revelations. And where have you been, GD? You tucked your tail between your legs when the going got tough and you ran away from DCA. And then you went to CCL and you went and sold out to Smokey. You sold out to Chris Knight. You sold out to JC Wolf of all people. A man that I've beaten repeatedly. Smokey, a man I've beaten. Chris Knight, a man who I've probably never faced, but I would have beat his ass too. But you see, this isn't about them. This is about you. This is about you reclaiming your greatness. Because you see, I know deep down inside that the great D, because that's what your name is, the great D is still somewhere deep down inside. And if the great D has any balls left I say the great D faces Zack Stone I say that the great D not GD I don't want that jerk I don't want that nobody I want the great D versus Zack Stone at D Wall's Christmas Vacation I want the man that was a former CCL World Heavyweight Champion. I want a man that was a former CCL National Champion. I want the man that was a former DCA World Champion. I want the man that was known throughout the entire virtual wrestling scene as greatness personified. The measuring stick to anyone who wanted to step up. The measuring stick to anybody that wanted to come up the ladder and say, I want that spot. I want that main event. I want that top place on the mountain. Because you see, while you took a tumble down that mountain, I took your spot. I'm greatness now. I'm the personification of greatness now. Because you dropped the ball. Because you took that ball because you said, I can't handle it anymore. I can't take it anymore. I'm too much of a little bitch because I can't get back up from my setbacks and I have to sell myself out to keep myself relevant because I don't know how to do it anymore. I don't know how to be great anymore. I don't know how to be the great D anymore. Well, guess what? I'm here to bring the great D back. I'm here to show you great D that you still exist that the great D is not dead he's still alive and he's still kicking but hey maybe you won't take my challenge maybe you won't accept it maybe you're still gonna be a little bitch and have Smokey and Chris Knight and JC Wolf dangling your balls in their little in their little purse of immortals because you can't do it yourself. What you going to do? What you going to do, GD? You going to get Smokey to accept the challenge for you? You going to get JC Wolf to go on another 14-minute promo and accept my challenge for you? You going to have Chris Knight talking in chest puns and, and, and answer your challenge for you? Is, is that what you're going to do, GD? Or are you going to man up? Are you going to man up and accept the challenge yourself? Balls in your court, great D. The ball's in your court. You have the opportunity to have a match of the year candidate with Mr. Match of the Year. Mr. Eight Star. The greatest virtual wrestler alive today. Ball's in your court, Grade D. I'm not going to force you. I'm not going to make any threats. No. I don't have to do that. The only thing I can do is ask. Ask the question. Put the offer out there. The door is wide open, Great D. 
either you can take it or you leave it. Because if Great D shows up at Christmas vacation, I'll be the happiest guy on the face of the planet because that's just one step closer to proving to everyone in VWU and call stars that I deserve a world title match because those guys are too much of a pussy to give me what I want. And no, I'm not some Hollywood actor going into the Hall of Fame saying that, no. I've said it once and I'll say it again. The only reason that call stars and hell, I might as well lump VWU into this too. The only reason they haven't given me a shot is because they're too much of a pussy to give it to me. I just beat the VWU world champion clean as a sheet in the middle of the ring. Doesn't that constitute a championship match? But no, they're not going to give that to me because they know if they do, I will beat Malik again and be the VWU world champion. And... They're going to give TGO a title opportunity at the Big 110. TGO, I've been waiting to kick your head off, but you haven't had the ball to show up yet. You give me one TGO in the middle of the ring, and then you vanish back to DWF because that's the only place you're safe from me. That's the only place you think you're safe from me. But guess what, buddy? If you win the Call Stars title, at, call, at, at the Big 110, guess what? You're on my hit list. Hell, you're on my hit list anyway. I'm just waiting for an opportunity. I'm just waiting for the right moment, the right time when you're not expecting it, when you least expect it, for me to kick your head straight off your shoulders. And as for the, the Ben Hopkins, the Ben Hopkins, I've heard a lot about you, the Ben Hopkins. I've heard a lot about your career. I've heard a lot about your story. And I'm glad you're the Call Stars champion. You earned it. You deserved it. But guess what? It doesn't matter who walks out of the Big 110 as the world champion because I'm coming for you. And Call All Stars management doesn't like that. VWU management doesn't like that. But guess what? Me and Amber, we're kind of sick and tired of being overlooked around here. We're kind of sick and tired of the disrespect. We're kind of sick and tired of people not putting us in the conversations of championship opportunities that we've earned. And Great D, you're just one step in the road. The ball's in your court. Either you take it or you leave it. But the offer's extended to you, Great D. All you gotta do is open the door. All you gotta do is accept. And I'll be waiting on the other side for the great D because if you're going to bring GD you might as well not even bother showing up you might as well not even bother answering because I want great D I'm going to simply do what I have been doing for six and a half years and will continue to do as long as I fucking want I am going to be Zach Stone I am going to be the DCA World Heavyweight Champion, and I am going to be the best. Now, I want you to clearly hear this, everyone. Everyone under the sound of my voice, I want you to hear this as loudly and as clearly as you possibly can get. I will be the best in the fucking world world and if you don't understand that I guess I'm just gonna have to keep showing you